Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to do a complete disassembly and reassembly of the Beretta 92S. This is the surplus Italian police pistol with the European style magazine release. This gun was manufactured between 1978 and 82. You are going to need 1 16th inch punch, 3 32nds, any size larger is handy, but a screwdriver, hammer, and a little pick that we'll get into later. Uh, I'll just make mine out of paper clip. Okay, let's begin disassembly. First thing we're going to want to do, make sure we're working with a safe firearm. Magazine's empty. Gun is cleared. All right, so we're going to start by pushing this little button here. As you're pushing that, we're going to slide this down. Top will slide off like so. Our lower is if you were to do a basic field strip, disassembled as far as you need to go. For the top part, upper, pull off this spring. Careful, it'll, it's, gonna, it's got some spring behind it. Comes off like so. That spring does not matter how it goes on. Set that aside. Take your barrel out. Push this button here. Then it'll unlock it. That is there, that is there. You now have a basic field strip if you were to clean, and that's all really you have to tear apart for basic cleaning. But because this gun is slightly old and I would and is coming from uh, uh, police use, I would recommend doing a detailed strip on it at least once. Our next step is we'll be removing the barrel pin from the locking mechanism. You're going to remove this pin right here using a 1 16th inch punch. It'll take off this and this. I will not bore you, and I will skip over me hammering all the pins out. Okay, once your pin comes out, it is extremely small. I recommend putting them in a cup with all your other parts. So, that will allow for this rear pin to come out, and then this top part up here. That's all as far as you can go on that one. In this next step, we are going to remove our safety. We are going to push this halfway between safe and fire. Come around here, and if you see, if we go to fire, that little thing pops up. You're going to grab your punch. You're going to put in that little hole. This is your second smallest punch. And now you're going to be able to go to fire. And you should be able to go a little past fire. It takes a little plan. We're now past fire. You're gonna have to come around here, push in your state your firing pin. Once you push your firing pin in, you should be able to turn it a little bit more. You're now as far as they'll go. You're now gonna push your pin safety out this way. Keep your thumb over this area because there is a pin under spring pressure. Along with here, there's a ball under spring pressure. First thing that you'll see that is removed is this pin here, spring and pin. And as we continue to pull, your whole safety is now out. I'll show you how this goes back together later. You're now going to take your small punch. You can go in this back hole here, and you can punch out this ball. There's a spring under this ball. Make sure you have a towel or something to catch it and clean under there. Okay, after I use my punch, punch that ball out. This is the spring that goes with the ball. This is part of your firing pin, and that is the tension for the safety. Put those in a cup and we will proceed to the firing pin. To remove our firing pin and our uh, ejector, you are going to hammer out this pin. Use your smallest punch. You're going to come in from the bottom here. And you can see it right here. If you are unable to punch it all the way out, you're going to want to use pliers or something because this will bend your punch if you're not careful. While you get that out, you will feel your 
ejector will catch on your punch. It's under spring tension here. You can move or remove that. Your firing pin will come out the back. Make sure you have your hand covering it so you don't lose parts. Okay, once you hammer out that top pin, you will feel this want to spring out. This just removes like so with the spring, small spring, and your firing pin comes out, spring on it. You are now completely disassembled pretty much as far as you can absolutely go. The only thing left you would have is the rear sight, which for cleaning, I see no purpose of taking that off. If you do need to remove this, you're going to want to put this in a vise, and you're going to want to hammer this thing like crazy to get it out. I recommend though going to a gunsmith because they have a special tool that will drive this out using a screw and it'll just be a lot better. Okay on the bottom we can start by removing our screws holding on our grip covers. Boom boom and these two. Alright we got our grips off now. That was simple enough. We're going to remove our what do you call it? Retractor pin. Again, you're going to push this in again, and this is going to be able to come up. And as this comes up, let's play with it a bit. It'll come up, and it'll just literally pull right out. This side's under spring pressure, it'll pop out. You have that in a spring. Put those in a safe spot. Next, let's remove our retainer, I believe it's called. Just gonna push that up, and then you're just gonna start working it out. There is a spring in there. Once you get it past the little frame, it's easy enough. But that'll just come right out like that. And there is a little spring, and we'll set that aside. Let's remove our firing control rod thing. Do that. You're going to want to remove this spring here. Just kind of push it out. Literally comes right out. You should see how that comes. So that side, this bar here is just going to start to pull out. There's another spring on this. You might hear that click down. That's for your um, trigger. Don't worry about that later. Now that is off. Simple as that. So the trigger is a one way pin, one side's bigger than the other. And this should just push right out. Let's grab a punch. See the trigger pin here? This hole is for the, uh, call that the rod, I guess. This is your firing pin. Not firing pin. You know what I'm talking about, YouTube people. Don't lose that spring that just sprung over here. So when you remove that, keep your thumb over here. This will go across way your table. And your trigger is going to come out through the top portion. We now have that it's assembled. Let's put that in a Dixie cup. You can see that moving. Keep your finger over the spring. You'll see it. It's right there. Your pin for that guy is right here. We'll hammer that out and we'll get back to you. Alright, I was able to push that pin out. I didn't have to use the hammer. So we're now going to pull this out. And it should fall right out. Here's the spring. Right there. Let's remember how that goes in. And this guy come out just like that. And that's what we're removing. Our next step, in order to remove the hammer spring, which is located in the frame here, we're going to have to remove the European style magazine release button here. Now, I urge you to proceed with caution because in reinstalling this is very difficult you will see there is a very small pin here. Not that pin, this pin here. You're going to hammer that out 
this is under spring tension. This will come out and that'll release your rear pin magazine release here. The pin you just hammered out is very small and is very expensive. It happened you bend it and break it trying to reinstall it. Take care and caution. That's from the gun show today, the little blue marker. That's why we gotta get another one from my friend that broke his. Anyway, so you can hold your thumb over the push the button, slowly release it. Out will come the button, spring, and the uh, magazine retainer. Put that in our cup, set that aside. Now, to be able to remove the hammer spring, we have this bigger pin here. This one will require the larger pin I talked about earlier, the 330 seconds. Again, start to hammer that out, and you're going to feel it catch, and you're going to want to put pressure on your um, lanyard loop here, going in. Once you get it all the way through, just keep pressure on it as you then remove the pin, push punch pin, and you will see how that comes apart in a second. Okay, you will once you get that pin out, let's see, we got our punch in there. Hold your thumb against that. Careful. And that will remove your hammer spring lantern loop. That doesn't matter how that goes back in. Now you can see our hammer is free floating. This easily removes now, not being under tension. You can grab one of your bigger punches and that's actually just fall right out. You don't even need that. Your hammer will now come out and there is I don't know what you should call it. I'm terrible with parts, I apologize. Part names. This will come out. This is how it goes back in. Put that there. The spring actually sits in there like that. And this guy sits in here. And that is what gives you tension. So, we will put these aside. We will put those away. Our next step in this lower is grab your smallest punch. You have two pins. This rear pin, this front pin. Rear pin is roll pin, and the front pin's a solid pin. Front pin is longer when reinstalling this, take note. So punch those out. This will fall out. This some and some do not out easy. Now if your punch isn't long enough you're going to come across the problem where the rolled pin might not come out all the way. Just grab a pair of pliers. I know these are not pliers but it's what I have right now. Just grab a hold of it and you should be able to twist it right out. This little guy here that should have fallen out easily. And this sometimes That'll come right out like that. And you are now, after you put these aside, completely disassembled on the lower and the upper. If you would like to know how, grab our magazine here. All I have to do is you have to just push this pin, this guy right here. As you push that in, this bottom plate out on your magazine where the rest will just slide right out and you can then clean your